This summer, the Galerie Division and the Galerie René Blouin merged into one entity. It's called now Blouin Division. By the search of our inventory, um, it was kind of an interesting thing to see different artists that were never shown together. So this show is really a dialogue that was created by artists like Francine Savard, Nicolas Lachance, and Tammy Campbell. The importance of color, optical effect, and size make those work quite remarkable and quite engaging for the body of the viewer. This work by Francine Savard is an exploration of the color red. Looking at this work by Francine, it plays with your eye. There's a moment you're not sure if it's a shadow or if it's painted. It invites you to go close to the work and circulate around it. Francine decided to reconstruct in wood the exact size and shape of archive boxes. They refer a certain way to the work of Donald Judd with his boxes, but instead of having a very serial, identical experience, they play with a different illusion and shadows that can be produced with the depth of different boxes. This piece has the exact same size and composition as a famous Barnet Newman called Vir Heroicus Sublimis. It is shown at the MoMA. In this context, Tammy decided to wrap the painting, like if it was coming out of the studio. While she did this, the tape that are holding the cardboard are placed at the exact place where you would have a zip on the original painting. So the wrap composition mimics the original one. Normally, it is the red of the painting that attracts the attention. In this case, it is the vibration of all the little lines that creates an electric effect for the eye. Of course, the work of Tammy is not made with real cardboard or real masking tape. It is made with paint that mimics the original. The cardboard becomes a very noble object suddenly. This work by Nicolas Lachance is actually a cast of several shelves that were in his studio. If you look carefully, the surface of the shelves was transferred into the pulp paper. A mystery of those shelves become visible. This artwork refers to time, where you have the time of the artist in the studio, but you also have the time that it takes for a shelf to transfer its history into the pulp paper. It's all inscribed, and in the pulp paper, all those elements of history are captured and transferred. The work is made on its own by the pure contact of the history of that shelf with the pulp paper. While doing the install, a few other work came to mind that could echo the first install. One of them is Suda with his famous flowers that are made in wood. Very delicate, extremely precise. Those flowers are painted after. They bring something soft and more touching than the rigidity of the other work. Another work that came to mind was a series of eight pieces of paper made by Tammy Campbell. These pieces of paper are folded in a minimal gesture. Those work are mimicking a real piece of paper. People who know Tammy would know that those ones are made with paint. They actually are made with acrylic. They are placed in front of the Francine Savard and are referencing the archive boxes. Finally, it seems color was a big part of this show. A few years back, Juan de Coupe and Pierre Dorian worked separately on a series of monochrome. We thought it could be interesting to bring this series and for the first time to show them together in a third room. 